Away they go for the Bellarock handicap and even a dispatch from the gates by all the runners. But as they sort themselves out, Ashin Angse is the leader by about a length and a quarter in front of uh, South from the one on the outside, another length away, there's King's Crown. A gap of two and a half lengths away, we go back to Miraculix on the outside is Oath of Allegiance. A length and a half away, Oath of Allegiance is Dark Gold. A gap of four lengths away, we go back to Red Bug, two and a half lengths away. Red Bug, there's a Macus uh, Courier on the outside is Uptown Girl. A length and a half away, there's Kronos, second last, the big ball, close last is Ambleside. They approach the 600 meter marker with Sam Fro, the leader. But about a length in front of King's Crown is in second place. A length and a half away, there's Ashwin Angse, is in third, a gap of two and a half lengths away, Oath of Allegiance. Then comes Doug Gold taking the turn, three horses wide as the head stand firm. Round the turn into the straight, Sam Fro comes in on first, but about half a length in front of uh, Ashwin Angse is the one on the inside. On the outside, there comes uh, King's Crown, but it's a uh, on in the center, the South Fro. King's Crown is the one on the outside. These two are battling it out. It's King's Crown on the outside from South Fro. It's King's Crown who travels a better. It's about a length in front of South Fro. Then comes Ashin Angse. But King's Crown is going to be winning this one from South Fro. Then comes Amicus Curie. May have finished ahead of Ashin Angse. Then came Dark Gold. Further away, there was Oath of Allegiance. And we'll wait for the official numbers.